Hey everybody, welcome back to the Box Office Breakdown for the big Labor Day weekend episode from September 2nd through the 5th. This was National Cinema Day this weekend on Saturday where all tickets were $3. So I hope you went out like we did to go see a movie. Maybe you saw more than one movie because of that excellent uh, ticket price, but it gave a nice bump to the box office this weekend. And um, did a miracle happen? Well, almost. Uh, the miracle was kept short of happening thanks to the re-release of a particular web slinger. What happened? Well, stick around and find out. All right, now before we get to this incredible box office breakdown, uh, if you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, get on down there, hit like, subscribe, smack that notification bell. Uh, we do all kinds of fun stuff besides this box office breakdown. I get out there and I do Blu-ray hunts for you guys, which are pretty cool. I do unboxings, movie reviews, top tens. I go check out local exhibits and conventions and do full tours for you guys. I do live morning shows every Tuesday morning. And I have my trivia contests every other Monday night hopefully, uh, that are going pretty well. In fact, there is one tonight, guys. Check this lineup out. Going to be a killer, killer show. So if you're around tonight, you're exhausted like I am from my Labor Day uh, festivities, come on over tonight and check out episode 10, my milestone hitting number 10 uh, for my trivia contest. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's check out this box office breakdown. So um, what happened? All right, so first off, here's the miracle that happened. As I was hoping, uh, with the uh, cinema day happening on Saturday, all cinemas and all movies in all formats, including IMAX, were all $3. So we took advantage of it. My, all my friends, they went out to movies on Saturday. They watched stuff. Uh, and we, in particular, went to go see Top Gun Maverick again. It's my second time, and it's the first time that my wife and daughter had seen it. And we all loved it. It was so great. So I was very curious that if this Labor Day weekend would give enough life, just a little more life to Top Gun to give it that number one spot. No. Instead, Spider-Man No Way Home was re-released into the cinemas and it edged out Top Gun by about $600,000. So, you know, I guess Marvel, you know, there's a new uh, content in, in this film, so it gave people a reason to go out and see it. It's not the exact same ending or, or end tag because <clears throat> the, the previous end tag used to have a Doctor Strange trailer, but Doctor Strange has already come out, so you don't really need to rewatch that, so there's something else. So that was enough to get people to come out and edge it out. It, it pulled in $7 million, $7.6 million, uh, to take the number one spot away from Top Gun Maverick, which was $7 million. Man, let me just tell you, if the Marvel movie had not come out, you would have seen an unbelievable miracle. Like movies, once they leave the number one spot, they rarely jump back in. But if they do, I've seen that happen with uh, Jumanji The Next Level did that. It was it was out and stayed number one for a while. And then, you know, the movies start, that ca came out after were kind of dull and that they hit number one and go away, one and go away. And then there was nothing else out. So it popped back into the number one because it was still everyone's favorite movie to go see. So Top Gun Maverick, if you take away Spider-Man No Way Home, kind of pulled off a miracle. It beat all the other previous films that are out right now. And it took the number two spot at that seven million. So I, I firmly believe that if the web... The web slinger, the wall crawler wasn't uh, jumping back into the box office. It definitely would have taken number one, which the likes of which, I mean, think about it. It came out in May and it's now September. <laughs> I mean, what a, a miracle that would have been. So uh, unfortunately, it's not to be. It's number two. But to add to the excitement, Top Gun Maverick is just dollars away from overtaking Black Panther for that number five spot for the all-time highest grossing domestic films. That's super impressive. Congrats, Tom Cruise and all the gang on Top Gun Maverick. All right, at number three at 6.9 million is DC's League of Super Pets. At number four, as a, a movie my friends went and saw, they said it was absolutely amazing. I'm like, great, I'm all in. It sounds like my, my cup of tea is Bullet Train at 6.8 million. After that is The Invitation, which was number one last week, 5.7 million at the box office. That is your top five at the top 10. Here's the bottom five. Uh, is Beast is number six with 4.3 million. 
After that, we got Minions Rise of Gru with 3.8 at the box office. Following up with that is Thor Love and Thunder at number 8 with 2.9. And at number 9 is Dragon Ball Super Superhero with 2.7 million. And finally, another great re-release. Talk about so Spider-Man is a new re-release. Here's a really old re-release was Jaws. Came back out for another nice re-release and it also got 2.7, just slightly under Dragon Ball Super Superhero, uh, with 2.73 million at the box office. So what? that's kind of exciting. A movie that old that that many people went out and saw it to give it a nice little, little chunk of change is excellent. Did anybody go out and see movies during uh, Cinema Day this weekend? Because uh, we did, a lot of friends did. I'd love to know what you guys spent your $3 on. Uh, or did some of you like go to a bunch of movies because it was so cheap? You just sat in the theater all day and $3 movies all day. What did you guys go and see? Did you go see the Jaws re-release? Did you go see the Spider-Man uh, re-release? Or were you like me and you, you saw something else? Top Gun Maverick. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for the top 10 at the box office for this Labor Day weekend. Now let's head over to your favorite streaming services and see what was number one. All right, what was hot on these streaming services? Well, check it out here on Netflix. Is a movie called Love in the Villa, a little love story. Uh, appealed to people this weekend for Netflix, gave it the number one spot. On HBO, we got the king of rock and roll, Elvis, starring Austin Butler and Tom Hanks. Also on the TV side, House of Dragon is really smoking it up over there. Any of you Game of Thrones fans watching House of Dragon? How is it? Sounds pretty cool. Uh, all right, over on Disney Plus is a carbon copy of last week. Best movie was Lightyear, took the number one spot. And the television side, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, Marvel's new show, number one over there. We're enjoying that show here. Amazon Prime, movie that I saw and did a review for, Sylvester Stallone's Samaritan came out. I gave it three stars. Probably upon further reflection, it might be closer to a two and a half star, but uh, not, a bad, not a bad watch. If you're a Stallone fan, uh, give it a look. On Paramount Plus, Orphan First Kill, still at the top of the chart there. On Hulu, we have Vendetta, number one over there. And Smoking It Up, look, even though it came in number two at the box office, number two, Top Gun Maverick tops the chart on Amazon, the paid portion, iTunes, Google, and Voodoo. It is number one on all four of those streaming platforms. So guys, that is going to do it for your top 10 at the box office and your favorite streaming services. So if you're looking for something to see, this is what uh, is exciting people right now. So if you've seen any of those, let me know. If you plan on checking any out, let me know. All right, guys, that is going to do it for now. Thank you again for checking out this box office breakdown. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, hit like, subscribe, smack that bell. Until next time, whether you're a movie goer, a stay-at-home streamer, or a lover of collecting physical media, get out there and enjoy some movies.